might as well have some fruit while I'm here. Brilliant. Now then, the portrait wanted to speak to me. Eldridge Diggory. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Most Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. It sounds intriguing. Give me more information. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. Glad to hear you are up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? <laughs> yes. Um, oh, so many. How would the pages help her? Can you tell me more? So many questions. Let's just start at the bottom. When were you minister? When were you the minister for magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you. Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. They never I was do. in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. Mm. I was sneezing Terrible sparks illness. to the bitter end. Now then, tell me more about this Helen. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. Now, how are the pages going down? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder, nonetheless. It seems those Sounds pages like could sloppy exonerate police her work. somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Well then, I shall, I shall head there directly. Right away. Brilliant. With what Brilliant. I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. I would say that Irondale is not. Oh. I'm sure it'd be harder to kill a moon calf. Dude, come on. Oops. Expelliarmus. No, too hard. Incendio. <laughs> Help me! Marvelous strike! <laughs> Incendio! Expelliarmus! Hey, that's mine! Accio! No. Ah, Wigan World. Now then. Helen! This ah. must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. It Helen lives around here somewhere. Upper Hogsfield. Excuse me, are you Helen? Helen! <sighs> Helen! Yeah, excuse me. Ah, can, here you are. Can I come I'm in? I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Okay, awkward. You're going to acknowledge me, but she won't. How so? <clears throat> now then, Helen. Madam Thistlewood. I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared Jackdaw. after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. 
when his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, and was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was Once in large again, sounds like shoddy due to police the testimony work. of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. What does that she said mean? Jack Dor promised her adventure mean? following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If Perhaps. my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jack Dor had asked her to Just follow like the mean map girls. With him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never are. even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. <laughs> Jack Dor's ghost vanished. Like, solve all as these puzzles to find me. She's like, fuck this, Without I'm going Jack home. Jack Dor's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. Spurious. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She Literally. won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. So she won't talk he, to anybody. A student to say. with a connection <clears throat> to the pages, like Jack Daw had, spoke to Anne. She might reveal new information. I mean, I really do want to see Azkaban. I'll come with you to Azkaban if it will save her. I don't know anything to I've see Azkaban. I've always wanted to see Azkaban. Count me in. I suppose it has a peculiar appeal to some, but it can be terribly disconcerting. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. There's a first time for everything. But a few questions. What the fuck's going on with Jack Dahl's ghost? You said Jack Dawes' ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Hmm. Okay. Anne, then. Tell me about Anne. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul. Never was the brightest girl. So and that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to yeah, clear her name Yeah, sounds like you should have done can. not shoddy police work. Now then, tell me about Apollonia. See, I'm asking all these questions because I'm being a better Apollonia detective Black. than you were. Richard Vindictive yes. girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. Well then, let's head Very out. well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. I feel like you home. didn't have to bring and it up. Lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Yoink. Yonk. Odd, says Dementors at Azkaban. They're coming! Sick. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank right you then. for the warning. <laughs> this really is a dismal place. But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Do keep your wits about you. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. I mean, 
feels feels like they have their purpose. You know, we kind of lock pieces of shit up in here. No. I had my wound. I cast Crucio on the lot of you. Oh, see, like those people. You don't scare me. Don't they deserve to feel like shit? I teach you so little of what you nope, just me. Know. Okay, cool. We'll just walk in silence. Has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. What is that I hear? Perhaps death. In all its mercy, oh, approaches. No one at school is going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Don't be a piece Are of shit. You, Anne? Got it. Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death? Finally come for me. I'm a student good. from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. It's always creepy Methinks when the fucking prisoners knave rhyme. meandered to his cave. My yeah. fate was surely sealed in Upper Hoggy Field. Yeah, seriously, what? Why? What are you trying to say? That the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, Hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Ellen, you're Ellen. fucking crazy. No, you're here. Come in closer. Be a dear. Oof. Ellen, she wants to talk to you. Uh, what is it, Anne? <gasps> Damn. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Yoink. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... Oh. Won't you get what? Won't you get what? But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. And that's where we'll leave off. Will he find Jackdaw's cave? Will he get justice for Anne? Find out on next week's episode.